I'm gonna give you my first impressions of Le Beau Le Parfum. This is the standard Le Mans packaging, or Le Mans, Le Beau, whatever you wanna call it. You sit on a throne of lies. This bottle is jacked, man. This is you, and this is the guy she says not to worry about. This is Le Steroids, double the size. That's what she's, oh, this is inappropriate. The presentation for this is awesome. I love the little jingle jingle at the top. Well, you gotta love it. This little pull pin thing is actually kind of hard to get off. I'm not complaining, but it is a little difficult. The atomizer is dope. Let's try to get it in the air first. Whoo! I smell the iris. Man, this, this is really good. It's a fresh cologne. This is fresh. A lot of people will probably say this doesn't reinvent the wheel. I get a lot of woody aspects at the top. So I do get some iris at the top. There's that powdery nature. And I feel like it's mixing with the tonka bean. So it's actually kind of pushing off a little bit more powdery. It's that sweet tonka bean, that powdery sweet tonka bean that you'll find in a lot of fragrances nowadays. This is great stuff. You get the pineapple right at the top. Great pineapple too. It's very sweet fruit. It's not overly sweet. There's woody aspects in there, freshness. I am picking up a little bit of the coconut. It's not like a pina colada. I was expecting this to be a full on pina colada. Honestly, that's what I was thinking. Actually, genuinely, pleasantly surprised by this. Very much so. Let's take a look at the notes, shall we? Pineapple, iris, yes. Cypress, ginger, the ginger is probably giving it that push. The coconut, woodsy notes, tonka bean, sandalwood. We're, no, we're not shocked by that. I'm not shocked at all. Ambers, that's what I'm kind of picking up. Overall, I'm pretty actually pleasant with this. It's a very fresh, uplifting fragrance. This is nothing extreme, nothing challenging. I'm kind of hoping that this one has the same projection and longevity as La Mal Le Parfum. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be the case though, but damn, the size difference. This is a 4.2 ounce, and this is a 4.2 ounce. This is insane. The bottle is ridiculously super cool. This is actually one of my favorite Le Mans bottles. Le Mans Le Parfum was sexy because it has the black bottle, but damn, this thing is nice. The sexy gradient going from the top to the bottom, and that leaf to seal the deal, and it's got a little jingle jingle. Have you tried it? Let me know down in the comments down below. I would love to hear your reactions. This is my first impression. I'm gonna try to do a full review of this in the coming future. If you wanna see that video, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.